Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the HTTP protocol. So why we need to talk about the HTTP protocol? Because uh, we will set up the web, uh, web server, HTTP server, on our ESP32 devices. And we will use our browser uh, on the computer to get the data from the devices and control the devices. So uh, by this way, we no need to design special software on the computer. We also can uh, use different devices like the mobile phone, iPad, and the computer through the browsers through the browser to control our ESP32 devices. So it's very interesting and very important. In order to understand the HTTP server code, uh, we must understand the HTTP protocol first, okay? So this is why we discuss a little bit about the HTTP protocol here first. And uh, the HTTP protocol is based on the client and the server more. The client will send the HTTP request data to the server, and the server will retain the HTTP response data to the client. So the HTTP protocol is about the uh, request and response data format okay so for the uh, for the request uh, for the HTTP request it has four part uh, it has four part data the first one is the request line the second one is a head the set the set one is a, a brink line the last one is the body of the message the body the message body is optional is optional Okay, so this is a uh, uh, request part. Compare the request part, uh, the response part. It also have four part of it. The first one is the status line, status line. The second one is the head. The third one is the a blank line. Uh, the last one is the uh, body line. The message body uh, sometimes it will include uh, all the page. Uh, HTML information, the data, HTML web page data. Okay. So next, let's take a look at the detailed data format for the HTTP request in every part. Okay. So uh, the detailed format is like this. This is the HTTP request. Okay. For the first request line, uh, it has a method here. After one space, and it will have the URL, the HTTP link URL. And this is one space. After this is the HTTP version, uh, HTTP version. Here, it will change a new line, change a new line. So this is a request line, OK? So the second part is the head part. This one uh, include uh, a pair of data, several pair of data. Uh, the data is uh, become pairs. Okay, it uh, describes uh, uh, it describes the browser feature, uh, what it can do, what data it can review. Okay, what data it can show. The data is. The description is become a pair of data. Uh, this is a field name, and this is the value of the field name. Field name and value of the field name. After that, it is empty. Uh, it is blank line. And after that is the body, the message body. OK? So this is a request part. Let, let's take a look at the uh, a response part okay so this is the response part so for the status line the first thing is the HTTP uh, version the server returns version first 
after one space, it will return the status code. After the server processing the HTTP request, it will return the status code. After one space, it has a few words to describe the status, okay? Some, a short of description for the status code. So here, this is the head part of the server. Uh, it will describe the feature of the server, the feature of the server. So the server, what the server can do for the browser, okay? So it's also a pair of data. So this is a field name, field, view, a value. This is value, field name, value. It describes the server feature, okay, the server feature, what it can do for the browser. The browser receives this data, can analyze uh, how to process in the data. So here, this is one blink line, and also this is the message body. The message body can include the whole page data, the whole page HTML data, okay? It will include here. So this is the response. Uh, we can put the uh, request and the response together. So this is the request and this is response. For the request, the most important thing is this method. For the method, it can have the get, get method. It will get the uh, verbal page data. It has the post method. It will send the data to the server to save or to modify. And this is the put data, put method. Put method, put the data to uh, modify the data in the server. For the response, the most important part is the status code, okay? So this is the status code. 200, it means uh, it's okay, everything is okay. After the server processing the browser request, and uh, we have this uh, 301 is redirector, okay? And this is the famous 404. It cannot find the page. The server cannot find the page. And then it will return the status code here in the HTTP response, okay? So this is a basic uh, HTTP protocol. Whether the browser uh, will, will uh, whether the browser will follow the protocol. Let's take a look at the um, Chrome. Uh, we check how it will send the data out, how it sends the uh, package out. Okay, so we open our Chrome. Uh, we can go to the uh, tools, more tools, and uh, developer tools, and okay select this one network make this uh, is a red one make it, make sure this one is the red one uh, turn on this one and we can uh, we can go to visit some browser uh, website for example we can visit HTTP HTTP um, U2 okay so why is HTTP and the not HTTPS? We will see the difference uh, a little bit later. And press enter in your computer. And then you will see here, this one is HTTP. And this one is HTTPS. We take a look at the HTTP first, okay? So you will see the request head is here. The response, HTTP response head is here. For the HTTP, we can uh, view resource, view source code, okay? So let's, let's compare our, uh, let's 
compare our description here. So the first one is get method. Is get method match here, match here. After one space, after one space is a URL. This is the root folder. Okay. So this is uh, uh, u2.com is root folder is here. And after one space, this is uh, HTTP version, HTTP version 1.1. Okay. So here we will change a new line, change a new line. And this one is um, uh, field name and value. And this is so description the, the browser, what it can do. The browser can accept uh, TX text for metadata, HTML data, and other data. And uh, so this has um, information like this. Uh, this is a request head. So let's take a look at the response head uh, view source. So here, this is uh, HT HTTP version. Uh, this is HTTP version, and this is a uh, uh, state code. State code three zero seven. Uh, this is state code, and this is a short description for the state code internal redirector. Okay, is this part? Is this part? Here is a pair of data uh, to describe the to describe the feature of the server. Like uh, a location is this one, and uh, the uh, cross original source policy is this one, and uh, here response. Uh, uh, he is here. So. So you will see uh, no content available because the request is redirected. Redirect to which one? To this one. Okay. To this one. This is HTTPS. Uh, this is HTTPS. Uh, uh, we double click. We double. Uh, we click this one. Uh, take a look at the head. So you will see uh, for the HTTPS. Uh, the response head uh, cannot review source. Okay, it all it already uh, decode the pair of data here. Okay, and also request head cannot review the source. But for the HTTP, uh, it can review source. Review the source. Uh, so by review source, we can. Um, we know uh, the browser exactly uh, send the send the data message uh, follow our HTTP protocol uh, follow our HTTP protocol. Okay, so uh, this is this video, and uh, I'm Michael, and see you next time.